What's going on guys? Emster Knows Hoops back today with another video. And today is going to be something a little bit different. Um, this video was a little bit of a rush to try and get together because I was out of town for a little bit. And then I've had a lot of stuff going on at home I've been having to take care of. But today, guys, I want to do what every NBA YouTuber will seem to love to do at some point, which is extremely over-exaggerate and over-analyze summer league film to then say a prospect is a bust based off a single game or two even though that doesn't matter, because if we really went off summer league, Korkmaz should be a starter for the 76ers or wherever the hell he is right now, because he dropped 40 in the summer league. And therefore, that would mean that he was one of the best draft picks that you could have taken, everything considered. Um, before we get into anything more, leave a like, comment, subscribe. We're trying to get to 600 subs by the end of the month of July. And I want to get at least 10 to 15 likes on this video, you guys. Let me know what you want to see next. The offseason, obviously, we still have a long way to go before the next season starts up. So I want to know what you guys want to see next. Um, I've already got a couple ideas in mind. So let me know how you guys want me to proceed. Now, the four main players I'm going to be taking a look at here are obviously all the main guys who have played that I think are important to analyze. So we have Brandon Miller. Victor Wembanyama, Scoot Henderson, and Amen Thompson. I might have said that wrong. Um, if I did, my apologies. But again, I want everyone to remember and understand that Summer League is not the indicator for anything. The most that it can show you is a possible trend for a player in terms of like, oh, Victor likes to drive this way and likes to shoot this way. Okay, maybe that's something you could take forward. But you're not going to sit there and go, oh, because Victor dropped 55, now he's projected to be the next LeBron and we're not even worried about anything in the actual NBA. That would be ridiculous. Or taking, I've seen a lot of people overreact to Brandon Miller's first couple of games before the Vegas Summer League started, and all of a sudden this man's a bust. He was never that good, should have never been a top three pick. And I'm already sitting here, I'm like, guys, this is a 20-year-old kid, and he's in the Summer League. Let him have time. It'll work out. And if it doesn't, I don't think Summer League is the indicator that it wasn't going to work out. So as always, this is Amsterdam Nell Soups, and let's get into the video. And today we are starting with some Victor Wembanyama breakdown. Now this here is something a little bit different. So as we see here, it's Brandon Miller basically on his hip. And as Brandon tries to get an off-ball movement, I love how easily and quick-footed Victor is to be able to maintain that gap of distance. And Brandon makes a tough three right there. And as we see here, so going into the transition game, Victor gets Brandon Miller one-on-one. -on -one. Now, this is not necessarily a highlight, but this is part of the reason you can't take Summer League seriously. He missed a dunk. You see how tall that man is? And then as we go in here, off the beautiful block by his fellow teammate, Victor doesn't even need to jump. Just gets onto the ball and just immediately swats it down. That size difference is going to cause so many teams' issues over time. Now, this is what I love right here. As Victor's driving and the man off ball is going to cut towards the screen, Victor just gives a beautiful pass. And as we continue to look here, now we go to Amen Thompson, who gets the screen and automatically goes to attack the rim with a beautiful finish with his left hand, which was just a tough, tough finish. And as we're going to look at Scoot as well, since they played head to head, Amen automatically takes the matchup, which is a big part of him as a prospect, him and his brother, is the defense. He gets past him a little bit, but thankfully he was able to keep up enough to close in the gap. Scoot makes a beautiful bounce play to his center to get the foul drawn. And then again, Scoot is going to attack here. And look at how much the defense collapses in on him for the easy drive to the corner for the easy three-point bucket. Watching a men play as well is nothing short of insane. Scoot is going to go here and just drive right past Amen. And with three guys around him, go for the tough reverse layup. And here we see Amen gets the screen. And this floater is beautiful. And if these are things that are truly going to translate, I love the look. Brandon Miller here gets the screen. And what he does so well here is as he drives, he goes up with his left, which is tough because you have three guys on you and gets a tough lay. And here, I love the effort from Victor as a playmaker. Gets the beautiful pass off. Brandon Miller already showing he has some court vision. And I love the effort from him defensively here. As the ball goes up, he's automatically fighting for the board and is making it a tough time for his man to get it back up as he gets the swat and forces the ball to go out of bounds and they take a three-point shot instead. Now, again, I want to make something perfectly clear. All I was trying to show you guys is, is that, yes, maybe on a box score, right? Victor Wimbanyama, for example, I believe, went like three for 13. Now, are we about to sit here and call that man a bust? Brandon Miller struggled shooting-wise the first however many games. We're going to call him a bust? 
I think Summer League should be more so looked at for trends in players, not in terms of their actual trajectory. Because at that point, Lonzo Ball absolutely hooped in Summer League. His first couple of years in the league looked absolutely nothing like that. I, To me, I don't really think that Summer League is any indicator of how good or bad a player is, just what kind of trends they're already going to have going into the NBA. So for me, guys, I would just highly recommend do not over-exaggerate. Do not fall for the Twitter traps of they shouldn't have drafted this guy, they should have drafted this guy. We don't know yet. We have to wait for the first couple seasons of these guys' career to know how good or bad a player is going to truly be. But as always, guys, this is Amsterdam Nose Hoops. Leave a like, comment, subscribe. What do you think? Have you guys watched any Summer League? Have you guys reacted to any of it? Do you think people are over-exaggerating already? What do you guys think is going on? Who's your favorite prospect? And who is a team that you think is going to low-key be nice with their new rookie pickups? As always, this is Amster No Soups. I love and appreciate every single one of you. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter and TikTok with the same handle of Amster No Soups. I'll probably drop a YouTube short maybe today, if not tomorrow. I just really wanted to thank you guys for everything. Let's get to 600 by the end of the month. 10 likes on this video. As always, this is Amster No Soups. Y'all have a blessed rest of your day, guys. Peace out.